Are you struggling with an error response while using AWS Cognito on your Android app? You're not alone. Many developers face this frustrating issue, especially when switching from debug to release versions. Today, we're going to tackle the unable to unmarshal error response problem and get your app back on track. I totally get how annoying it can be when everything works perfectly in debug mode, but then you hit a wall in release mode. It feels like a cruel joke, right? You're not the only one feeling this pain. Let's dive into the specific issue at hand. One user reported that while using the AWS Cognito SDK for Android version 2.4.3, they encounter an error message that reads, unable to unmarshal error response. This happens only in the release version, while the debug version provides detailed exceptions. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what's going on here? This issue often arises due to ProGuard obfuscation, which can strip away necessary information from your code. This can lead to the inability to properly unmarshal error responses. But don't worry, we have solutions. Stick around, because at the end of this video, I'll share a crucial tip that can help you avoid this issue in the future. To address the issue with the AWS Cognito SDK in the release version, the user should first check the ProGuard rules. It's essential to ensure that the necessary classes are not being obfuscated. Next, the user should add specific rules for error unmarshalling. This will help retain the error handling classes that are crucial for proper exception handling. After updating the ProGuard rules, the user should rebuild the project. This will apply the new rules and ensure that the necessary classes are retained in the release build. Finally, the user should test the release version again. This time, they should check if the error messages are more descriptive and if the unmarshalling issue is resolved. Fun fact, did you know that ProGuard is like a magician? It can make your code disappear, but sometimes it takes the wrong things with it. Let's make sure it keeps the right parts. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests that unmarshalling errors can also arise from classes in the AWS core library, not just from the Cognito identity provider. They recommend adding a ProGuard rule to prevent crashes for all AWS library exceptions. Here's that crucial tip I promised. Always review your ProGuard rules when integrating new libraries. This simple habit can save you from a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. With these adjustments, your AWS Cognito integration should be smoother than ever. If you found this video helpful, please hit that subscribe button for more troubleshooting tips. And remember, keep your ProGuard rules in check.